some Amir. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! I put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. Alright, wish me luck. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I even see new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
So when we get to the bump. We can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. You never did tell me why Freya stood in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. We should look for more like this. Ah, Fafnir. I always wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hey, lads! How did your friend become a dragon, Namir? Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Boy, over here. Another <laughs>
Question head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? Well, I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen a trinket from the wrong Banier goddess.
show, you wee little bugger. Well, I think Dragon hasn't done much for his personality. Here. Boy. I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. What can I do for you? And back to you. Oh, nothing. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah, I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northree stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you? <laughs> Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father.
Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is. It looks important. To who? There is little of value here. Hey, Sendry, could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Oh. The Travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm. Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? What speaks to you? Or, never mind them. Last we were in a boat, we had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. And we'll pick this up later. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Gandrifor. The name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Whoa! 